Sessions. Yes, I'm here for a pickup. Do you like Walmart pickup? Yeah. What do you like most about Walmart pickup? We're being fun. Um, I like that I don't have to go into Walmart and shop. And I get anxiety shopping. Shopping anxiety? So that's why grocery pickup is the perfect thing for somebody like me. Because then you don't even have to go inside. Now the thing is, getting substitutes is a whole different thing because somebody else is shopping for you. But other than that, it's cool. But do you have the choice of getting substitutes or can you turn that off? You can turn that off. So why do you have it on? Just because? Just because. I think maybe, maybe they'll give me something good, but sometimes they don't. Depends who's shopping. Like, instead of giving me the salt and pepper ones, salt and pepper pork rinds, they gave me salt and vinegar. Like, who are you? I like salt and vinegar pork rinds. Well, I don't. But I really kind of want to go into Walmart because I want to get some t-shirts. Well, it's not as busy as it usually is. But well, what are the other benefits of Walmart grocery pickup that you can... I don't even have to get out of my car. True. What else? I don't know. What are, what are the... Is there any more downfalls to the uh, Walmart pickup? Sometimes they don't answer the phone. And can you get stuff besides groceries, like t-shirts? sometimes like they do have it on there but for some reason I can't select a size so like what's the point but it's cool because you can get like you can get like baths and body things you can get you know cleaning supplies you can get other things than just food I had her the last time you did she stacked my uh, cat food on top of the groceries but she's nice so she, it's all good all right well that is the advantages the pros and cons of Walmart grocery pickup so all right we out. well well oh. wait oh wait we'll just kind of do an overview so it's great if you're somebody who has anxiety shopping like me you know, you don't even have to go in the store, a busy store, and shop for your groceries, especially in our coronavirus. It's such a great thing. And then um, the downfalls of it is that, like, what you pick is what you pick. You know, like the day of, if you forget something, it's not like you can tell them to, like, add it on there. I mean, I guess you could call, but they don't answer the phone. So that makes it hard. Um, but overall, it's a good, it's a good service. I like it, and I keep doing it because the things that I normally get at Walmart, I can do the, do the pickup, and then you know go to the other stores where I get other things at. So. And have you ever put something on the list and they didn't give it to you, or they yes. give you extra of one yes. thing? Yes. So there's been times where they don't add, like they don't put something in there that says it was supposed to be in there. But sometimes I've gotten extra of something. So like, I remember one time I only wanted one thing of blueberries and they gave me two. Oh. And there's been times where like, they'll give me like an extra bag of something. So like all in all, I kind of like gain from it a little bit. It's not like I've, like I probably would have made a stink about it, but it's like one of those things where you can't really, it's hard to like, do anything about it I don't know because it's not like you can just like they tell you to stay in your cars right now with corona and stuff so it's hard to like go back there look to see if you have everything and if you don't then it's like well how do you do you go inside the Walmart kind of defeats the purpose of it so 
with Walmart pickup, I don't make a huge stink about it because, like I said, I've gained some, I've lost some, so it's just like whatever. But I would like to get in this lane, but I don't want to be in the middle of the intersection. Why won't it turn green so I can pull up? I want to pull up into the line, but I can't because then somebody will hit me. How long is the line at Chick-fil-A? Um, outrageous. Like it always is. But it always moves along. Oh, 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 this person's going to jip me. Again, lady. Again, jip you. Stupid lady. Jipping me. She, she didn't even look at me. Yeah, she did. No, she did not. Yeah, yeah she did. Because if she would have saw me, she would have stopped me. But she did not. Yeah, she did. She did not. She totally did. There should be a stop sign there, but there isn't. There is. There's a lot of places in Virginia that there should be a stop sign at, but there isn't. I stop automatically because I'm like, I don't want anybody to hit me, but... Well, Virginia sucks. Don't ever move there. Or at least don't don't move to like Petersburg. Richmond, Richmond I think would be okay, but like anywhere else kind of sucks. So, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs>